Okay. Hey guys. Um, I'm sorry for this eye. It's really something happened, but I'm okay. Anywho, um, I mostly came on here to just say that it is okay if someone breaks up with you is because God has a plan for everybody in this world and it might not be exactly what you want and not be anything of what you want in your life and it hurts it really does when you lose somebody that you love at a young age it it does it really does but now i can't find my tv control anywho Um, yes, it's okay to sit there and cry for a few days or a few months. The most that I've ever cried for a guy was two months. And that was with the guy that I just broke up with. Like, I love in. I'm not, I'm not, his name's really not in, I just, I'm not going to use the row names in this video because certain reason, uh, personal reasons, but anywho, I love in to death, I really do. I would do anything for him. I really would. I would change my whole entire life for him. I really. And a lot of people don't believe me. And I must, I must sound so dumb. I must sound stupid right now. But it's okay if you lose someone that you love. It's okay. Like, you are eventually going to get through it. You... Well, probably some people do stay in your lives after they break up with you. Like me and my ex. I'm gonna say that we're okay. We're friends. Like, we are friends. Like, we're good. Like, our, our best friend status is good. Our boyfriend and girlfriend status is not good. It, that's trash. Like, our relationship just went yeet and yeeted down to texas like we'll probably never get back together and for me that's okay i'm fine if me and Anne don't get back together i want him as a best friend and if i can have in as a best friend and keep him in my life i am perfectly fine with that i really am because I don't want to lose him as a best friend. I already lost him as a boyfriend. I don't want to be losing him as a best friend either. Because if I lose him all together, I'm fucked. Because, like, you think about it, I'm homeschooled. But that's only my friend. Like, I have little people that I, not little, but, like, I have people that, like, I talk to. And I do, like, that stuff with. But it's not like, oh, Okay. Like, I see them every day. Like, when this stupid ass fucking quarantine shit wasn't here, like, I would mostly say me and Noah would usually see each other almost every weekend. And knowing that a person cared about you that much, it does hurt when you lose them as a name. I'm not saying that I just called Noah my boyfriend. Like, he was my boyfriend. I was Noah's real first real how do you put it real first relationship and Noah was mine and to know that I lost him twice like that and I think I just said his name but he said it but that I lost Noah 
hope it does hurt. It really does. I'm just saying that girls don't be trying to kill yourself is because of a, a boy. Don't be cutting is because of a boy. Is because it's not gonna hurt them. It's not gonna hit it's not gonna turn around and come hit you them in the ass. It's gonna hit you in the ass. And it's gonna come back on you. And I know this from experience. Like I know y'all are like, oh my god, you don't have any experience. You're only thirteen. But I have experience of stuff coming back and hitting me in the ass. It does fucking suck. And know that right now, no one needs people to talk to. No one needs people to sit there and actually listen to him. Like, I know he has his parents. Like, he has wonderful parents. He does. And they love him to death. But... And I'm not saying that Noah is bad. I'm not saying that his mom's bad. Like, they're not. They're not bad people. They're loving people and they care about you. They really do. I'm going to sit here and... Anyways, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh... Let me sit here and try to commit suicide or cut myself or start posting. I just wish I was dead. I just want to kill myself. I just want to jump off a bridge to see, to make that person feel bad for you. Don't do it. It's because if they break up with you and they actually have real feelings, it hurts them. It really does. Like, a lot of people never lose feeling. They never do. A lot of people are not in relationships at 30, 40, 50, 20, 17. Like, some people never get in relationships is because they have bad experiences or they just don't like it. And that's fine. I look like I'm glowing over here. Anywho, it's okay to be single. It's okay to have a boy crush. It's okay to be in love with someone that, I'm not going to say that he's not in love with me. Like, he loves me as a person. He does. And I'm not, like, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all about him. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my god, Noah is this, Noah is that. Like, I'm not, I'm not the person to sit there and be like, call the police and be like, oh my god, he did this shit to me, he did this, he did that, he hurt me this way, he touched me that way, he touched me here, he touched me there. Like, I'm not that kind of a person. I am not, like, I'm the type of person that, I care about feelings, it's just, I don't show it like other people don't do, like, I will not show it at all, I won't show that, I'll show that I'm fine, and that I'm okay with what happened, and that I moved on, but I'm not, I'm really, uh, I'm really not, and to know that me and Noah have been we're not going to say been through everything together, but we have been friends for over nine months, almost a year. We, Me and Noah have been friends for almost a year, almost two years. No, uh, yeah, no. So me and Noah have been to, like best like friends for three years. We were dating I'm not gonna count like the first breakup like all together. We've been dating for four months, almost a year. And to know that sometimes it hurts to lose someone that you love. It does. It sucks. And you might feel and you might blame yourself for it. And you might sit there and be like, I just wanna die, I just wanna do this. Don't do it. Don't. Is because it's not gonna 
do crap. It's just going to leave the scar on your wrist or wherever you cut or in you up in the and not the office well in the hospital and it might be bad it might be bad it might be good for you it might but i'm not gonna sit here and be a mean ass girlfriend like we're still best friends and i still want to be best friends with him like, I never want to lose that friendship between us. Like, I don't. And I'm hoping that we never... Anyways, I don't want to lose him as a friend. I already lost him as a boyfriend, and I just don't want to lose him as a best friend. I already lost him as a boyfriend, and and I'm just gonna say everybody's not perfect they're not you might go through things you might have breakups you might get back with that person several times but you can't take the feelings away you can't and I know this might sound kind of mean, but I'm not saying like I don't like I'm not saying like to take all the feelings away. It's just I wish me and Noah could have how do I put it? Like I wish we could have like took things slower and kind of started dating later like be friends be friends for a while see how we are as a friendship not rushing back into it as boyfriend and girlfriend and just my goal now is because he is my best friend is mostly just to make our best our friendship better and just see how it goes from there if me and Noah don't get back together I'll be fine with that I probably won't, but I'll tell him that I'm fine, and probably no will be, be like, okay, he'll probably just say, you're okay, or he'll see it in my face and tell me that I'm not okay, or he'll tell me that it's going to be okay, and... I hate not being in a relationship, but everything happens for a reason, right? Everything happens for a reason. You always find people, people go in and out of your life so easily. They do. And it might suck. It might feel like you're crap. But it's okay. And I love it. I love that... me and Noah are like still friends is because if if I would have lost Noah as a friend if I would have lost Noah more as a friend more as a friend I don't know what I would do Like, I really don't know what I would like, what I would do if if I would lose Noah as a best friend, like as actually best friend. Like, I love Noah to death. I already do. And if I'm trying to get the sun out of my face, but if I lose him more than a person, if I lose him as a person, I'm done. 
Oh my god, you're just crying is because you're dumb, you're stupid. I'm crying is because I love him. And a lot of people are like, you don't love someone. You don't at a young age. But... Me and I know the sun's still.